and new at 6 o'clock, pediatric patients evacuated. When the Children's Hospital in Fort Myers started to flood, dozens were transported to Johns Hopkins in St. Petersburg. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Liz Crawford talked with one of those families as their one-pound baby boy fights for his life. Do you hear that noise? That's what happens when baby David's oxygen levels dip too low. The remedy, a song and touch from mom and dad. You feel stressed, you hear different voices and it's just like us, we react to it, right? Like you just, it's a person there, although it's very tiny, it's still a person. So hearing uh, voices that they are used to, it just calms them down. Baby David is that fragile. He was born in June, 14 weeks premature, and weighing one pound, one ounce. Crying, 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 yeah. Because so I, much fear know, for David's parents, outside. but... Miracle, yeah, every single day because he's so tiny. Uh, he's oh. never been off the ventilator. He's never been able to breathe without the machine. And then more fear. When Hurricane Ian forced the hospital he's been staying at in southwest Florida to evacuate patients, David and dozens others were brought to Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. It feels good to us to be able to help, um, but we're sad for them. Baby David is finally showing signs of improvement, but the doctor said the emergency transport up here to St. Petersburg was really tough on his tiny body. It's a lot of movement. They have lots of tubes and lines and then flying and then coming here. So he changes the environment completely. And, and that stresses them out. He's a first baby. They transfer because his condition, you know. David's parents and big brother are by his side. Es hermoso. He's es beautiful, una, yeah. Una bendición. He's a blessing, a big blessing for us. Looking forward to almost everything. Not changing diapers. St. Petersburg will be home for now while David grows big and strong and stays cute. Liz Crawford, 10 Tampa Bay. About 24 pediatric patients were evacuated to St. Pete after the hurricane. Many of the little babies like David will stay put because the transport is so risky.